As Kenya rolls out the CBC curriculum, there, there is a global stage that is hard to ignore, Technofest in Turkey. It's where students and young innovators compete in robotics, aerospace, and next-gen tech. It's hands-on learning on a global scale and a glimpse into the future of education. Here is your glimpse. Forget about textbooks. In Turkey, students are building drones, flying robots, and chasing space technology. At Technofest, the country's biggest science and innovation festival, the future belongs to the young. Zia's edition was in the Republic of Turkey, northern Cyprus, drawing tens of thousands of budding inventors from across the region. Technofest is Turkey's premier technology showcase, organized by the Turkish technology team Foundation T3. Zia, it was held at Erichan Airport in Lekfosha, northern Cyprus. Here, high school students and young people from across the region competed to show off their skills in technology, including robotics design. I am learning new things from the program, from structure to collaboration. You can learn something new in every area. I also believe it helps to build habits and systems that will contribute in the future. Our main aim is uh, to obtain the new startups, to uh, grow with new startups in our country, since uh, we believe that the new ideas. Sahip olduğumuz. Turkey has specialized in aerospace technology, including the development of fighter jets. <laughs> and not just building them, but testing and operating them with precision. The founders of the Technofest T3 say they plan to expand globally. In our five-year uh, strategic target, we want to organize the Technofest in Africa. Wow. So when you see what's going here, it's like they're using the emerging technologies. And uh, I believe that we should try all of this to be more digitalized than how we are. And if they'll choose Africa and perhaps Kenya, CBC students will have a rare chance to compete, learn and get inspired by cutting-edge technology. <laughs> Technofest was founded in 2018, starting with more than 20,000 participants. This year, more than 47,000 applicants from 22 countries registered, with more than 1.6 million participants. Willy Lusigem, Citizen TV.